Hello, AGT fans. We hope everyone is having a good time watching the 17th season of America's Got Talent. This season delivered some of the wildest acts to ever grace the AGT stage, as promised. Chapel Hart, Christy Sellers, Avery Dixon, Mayas, Metaphysic, Drake Milligan, Mike E. Winfield, Nicholas Ribs, Celia Munoz, Sarah James, and Yu Hajin are the finalists for the 17th season of the show. But, who is more likely to win the massive $1 million prize? Let's see whether your favorite is getting any closer to the $1 million grand prize. Starting with Chapel Heart. Since Chapel Heart's powerful performance of their original song, You Can Have Him, Jolene in the audition, fans have eagerly anticipated their victory. Three incredibly brilliant women who formed the band, and named it after their family, come from the small town of Hart's Chapel, where they grew up. Danica Hart, Devon Hart, and Tree Swindle make up the trio. The trio is headed toward world domination with their music. But, will they win the title for real? Let's have a look at how they perform. The group won the group golden buzzer from the judges, and the show's host, Terry Crews, after wowing everyone with their country music. The trio proves why they were awarded the group golden buzzer during the semi-final performance of their original song, The Girls Are Back In Town. We can anticipate the girls winning the show, as they have advanced to the finals. Can't wait to celebrate their moment of victory. We send our warmest wishes to the band. And yes, Chapel Hearts fans, there's good news for you all. Just after the AGT finals, Chapel Heart has their Grand Ole Opry debut on September 17th, and immediately after the show, they will have the Chapel Heart official meet and greet after party across the street at the legendary Nashville Palace. Make sure you're there, you'll be able to get your Chapel Heart merch, take some photos, get autographs, and grab a hug from your favorite girls. Now we have Christy Sellers. Yup, a pole dancer who uses digital media to stunning effect in her act, leaving judges Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel, Sofia Vergara, and Heidi Klum stunned. To be honest, Christy Sellers is the only pole dancer you want the entire family to see. The mum of three has proved once again, she's no ordinary pole dancer in the semi-finals. Using stunning graphics on a massive LED wall behind her, the Australian performer delivered a dance routine that saw her explore a magical realm with Peter Pan-style aesthetics and whimsy. You act, you perform, your imagination is amazing, Klum said. You act, you perform, I mean, your imagination is amazing, I... I loved it. Vergara marveled at Seller's precision. You have to be at the right time, at the right place, at the right moment to create your magic, she said. This was even better than the audition. Make your act work. You have to be at the right time, at the right place, at the right moment, so it all, you, to create your magic. I really think this was even better than the audition. Cowell called Seller's act unlike any other on AGT. This was unbelievable, he said. One of the most astonishingly brilliant, creative acts we've seen on the live show. You might be the one who's gonna surprise us all at the end of this year. Astonishingly brilliant, creative acts we've seen on the live show. Yeah. You might be the one that is gonna surprise us all at the end of this year. Mandel quipped, finally, a pole dancer I can bring the entire family to see. Howie, as a grown man who spent many hours watching pole dancers, Finally, finally a pole dancer I can bring the entire family to see. What do you think of Christy Sellers? Will she take away the $1 million grand prize? Not to mention, Christy Sellers is the winner of Australia's Got Talent Season 9. Well, good luck Christy Sellers. Next is, Avery Dixon. Avery Dixon, a young saxophonist from Atlanta, Georgia who was born in October 2000. He was able to win the audience over with his talent. With his great performance and terrible bullying story, he became the first Golden Buzzer winner this year. The gifted 21-year-old saxophonist has voice issues, asthma, and other medical conditions. He was born weighing only one and a half pounds. He's beating all odds by playing his saxophone, despite his medical complications, and today he's one of the America's Got Talent finalists. Will he be the one to take home the $1 million prize? 
since Avery is the first ever saxophonist to advance to the live shows, and also the first ever saxophonist to advance to the finals, he might be the first saxophonist to win season 17 of AGT. After all, it depends on the votes. Can hardly wait for your winning moment, Avery Dixon. All the best. Now, we have, Mayas. Mayas are the first non-singing act to receive Sofia Vergara's golden buzzer. The meaning of the name Mayas is Proud Walk of a Lioness. They are from Lebanon. In 2019, the group competed in the sixth series of Arabs Got Talent, wherein they received Judge Najwa Karam's golden buzzer, later going on to win the competition. Later in the same year, the group participated in Britain's Got Talent, the champions, wherein they were eliminated in the preliminaries. And in this season, they were inspired to audition for AGT through the words of the late Nightbird. In the semi-finals, Mayas performed a meticulously choreographed dance routine that told the tale of the serpent in the Garden of Eden. They received standing ovations from Howie Mandel, Heidi Klum, Sofia Vergara, and Simon Cowell. They received enough votes to enter the top five of the night, along with Merv and Vera, instead of Jordan Conley, and the top three, instead of Kristen Cruz and Urban Crew. While Mayas have advanced to the finals, chances are pretty good they'll win this season. Let us know what you think in the comments. Next is, Metaphysic. It is so true that, artificial intelligence is shaping the future of humanity across nearly every industry. One of AGT's acts, Metaphysic delivered an entertaining yet creepy performance in the 17th season of America's Got Talent. In their audition, they used a deepfake visual performance with the assistance of season 13 finalist Daniel Emmett. Daniel sang Chicago's You're the Inspiration with artificial intelligence technology to make it look like Simon Cowell was the one singing. All four judges voted yes, sending them to the next round. For their next performance in the semifinals, Daniel Emmett was joined by John Reeson and Patrick Daly to sing Ness and Dorma from Tarandit, using the deep fakes of Simon, Terry, and Howie singing together. At the end of the night, Metaphysic received enough votes to enter the top five, instead of Acapop, and the top three, instead of Marissa Beddoes and Jack Williams. They managed to advance to the finals along with Mike E. Winfield, instead of Lily Miala. Despite securing a place in the finale, as well as receiving positive responses from the judges, some viewers weren't so impressed. So, will Metaphysic win? Looks like chances are quite rare. Anyways, good luck Metaphysic. Now we have, Drake Milligan. We haven't seen many bands perform this season. But, Drake Milligan and his band blew off the stage. Talking about the country singer personally, Drake Milligan is an American actor and singer, best known for portraying Elvis Presley on the CMT series, Sun Records and, more recently he is famous for his appearances on American Idol and America's Got Talent. Indeed the next great country singer is from Mansfield, Texas. With his own song, Sounds Like Something I Do, the country singer auditioned for season 17 of America's Got Talent. In the semi-finals, Drake Milligan whipped out his original track to impress the judges. Now that the girls are going crazy about the new Elvis, we can smell a victory. Soon, after the finale of AGT on September 13, Milligan will release his debut full-length album, Dallas Fort Worth, on September 15. Also, the country singer will support the set with a two-month tour that will make stops in Texas. Kentucky, Louisiana, Arkansas, California, and more. Next is, Mike E. Winfield. Mike is an American comedian and actor, most recognized for his filmographies like Pimp, The Bobby Lee Project, and Conversation in LA. He was one of the competitors in the 17th season of America's Got Talent, where a number of stand-up comedians had participated. Everyone in the hall was so entertained by his act, both the audience and the judges gave him standing ovations. With yes from all four judges, he advanced to the next round. Mike was soon selected to advance to the semifinals. With all the punchlines in his performance, Mike talks about his wife, Stepman, and the worst sandwich he's ever had in the semifinals. With his hilarious act, he received enough votes to enter the top five of the night, instead of Lee Collinson and the top three, instead of Marissa Beddoes and Jack Williams. The lucky comedian also advanced to the finals, along with Metaphysics, instead of Lily Miala. Mikey 
Shortly, we'll get to see him in the finale. Are you all excited about his final performance? Will the comedian win this season? Hope he does. Best wishes. Now we have Yu Hajin. If you are into magic stuff and cute men, then Yu Hajin must be your favorite contestant on season 17 of AGT. The young magician is an illusionist from Seoul, South Korea. Simon Cowell is never wrong about his instinct, but Yu Hajin was able to prove him wrong with his unbelievable magic tricks. Yes, while the three judges loved his performance, and voted him yes, Simon on the other hand voted him no. But soon, Yu Hajin wowed the judges in the semi-finals with his outstanding close-up. This time, even Simon Cowell gave him a standing ovation, and officially called himself an idiot for voting no in the audition round. Since, Yu Hajin has made it to the finals and now he is busy winning over fans. His semi-final act was really breathtaking. Do you think the illusionist will win the competition? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Next is another magician, Nicholas Ribs. Like the above performers, French magician and mentalist Nicholas Ribs wowed the crowd with his artistic magical shows. His performance in the audition was very original and was never seen before. Similarly, his semi-final performance was mesmerizing and mind-blowing. No doubt, he puts his heart and soul into the whole thing he's been doing. So, there is a huge chance he'll be winning the 17th season of AGT. And yes, Howie Mandel spilled some tea during Rib's semi-final performance. He said, the bar this year for magic has risen, and I predict you have a real good chance at winning this whole thing. But, we've got two magicians as the finalists, there's gonna be a very tough competition. Let's see what the two bring to the table on September 13th. With two brilliant magicians in the finale, which one are you voting for? Let us know in the comments. The next one, Celia Munoz. A trained opera singer, Celia got into ventriloquism over two years ago, citing past AGT winners Terry Fader and Darcy Lynn as her inspirations. But, what makes her act different and unique is her presentation. Even though she finished in the top three in the semifinals, behind Sarah James and Nicholas Ribs, eliminated from the competition, she was nominated by Sofia Vergara for the instant save wildcard vote, soon she received enough votes to return as the 11th finalist. Last, but not least, we have Sarah James. Singer Sarah James auditions so powerfully, she's been awarded a golden buzzer from none other than Simon himself. The Polish singer grew up in a small town of Poland. Belied her age with a powerful performance of Billie Eilish as lovely, she had the entire audience on its feet. Yes, the performance was so good, Sarah's amazing voice wowed everyone in the room. Everyone is aware of how challenging it is to win over Simon Cowell. Sarah, on the other hand, impressed him with her dynamic performance. Cowell then hit the golden buzzer, turning her dream into reality and sending her straight to the live show. Unquestionably, that was the most priceless experience she has had to date. Now that Sarah has advanced to the finals, she is one step closer to the $1 million prize, along with the rest of other finalists. We wish the Polish singer luck to take the victory to Poland. America will vote once again to choose its top act, and the winner will be revealed on September 14th. Till then stay tuned. With that, we've come to the end of the video. We wish every finalist best wishes. Who do you think will win AGT Season 17? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in.